let's go ahead and get started looking at this uh, open fill coil in uh, the speaker and see if we can do any good. I'll try to hold this where this shows up here, but you'll see the uh, lead dressings coming through that go back over to the uh, voice coil back down in this area. I want to desolder in that area, but uh, I'm going to take a, a piece of aluminum foil and uh, place it down underneath here just in case any of the uh, solder drops through and uh, hopefully that will prevent a uh, hole from burning through the uh, speaker cone. No guarantees here, but uh, hopefully that will help uh, mitigate that possibility. Okay, I think we've uh, just about got it there. We've got the uh, lead loose there from the uh, output transformer. Looks like we're good there too. That would be the uh, lead coming from the uh, voice coil. Let me go ahead and get these uh, nuts off here. Yeah, check that out. Uh, my friend Scott that sent me this, you know, said it looks brand new, and uh, man, I hate even touching this thing the way it looks. I've got a brand new uh, razor out of the pack here. What I'm going to try to do is go around this area right here on the underneath side of the cardboard gasket and see if I can get it to uh, release itself from the frame. I'll continue to do this off camera and uh, come back with an update. You can see I've uh, cut around the uh, column best I can. I'm going to just take a little bit of alcohol now and saturate this area. It's kind of a test and uh, see if I can loosen up the old adhesive right in this area. Alright, I'm going to just let that uh, soak there for a while and just keep it nice and wet come back and uh, check in about five to ten minutes here. Okay, I've finished cutting around the uh, speaker cone best I could. Uh, just a few little nicks there in the cone and I've also removed the uh, two fasteners there from the spider. So let's see if we can pull this out now. Okay, there's the uh, cone and there's the uh, spider. Every so fragile, so it looks like it did not break, so that's a good sign. Real quick, I got the uh, ears bent back here. I was able to get a small screwdriver pried underneath those and uh, just trying to get this uh, output transformer out of my way. I took the lancets again and uh, just made certain right as the leads there are going through their uh, little metal grommets and uh, still nothing. I saw some resistance for a minute but it was actually my fingers across the uh, the probes. Okay guys, let's recap real quick what I got done uh, today here on the speaker. Not a lot, but uh, got the cone out. Here's the uh, spider itself for folks that haven't seen the old-timey spiders and the uh, speakers thus the name for this. You can see it looks like a spider. Our two leads there coming off of the uh, voice coil. We'll still need to uh, check the uh, health of the voice coil. It checked good, hooked up to the uh, humbucking coil, but uh, we'll test that before we go too far. Let me pull the uh, frame over here. And uh, by the way, I did a f another dry fit after getting the uh, cone out, and I think I still have enough room and we'll have enough adherence here to get the uh, existing cone uh, back to the frame. It'll be a little tight because we lost a little bit of that even though I tried to loosen up the, uh, the glue. But uh, you can see where it was down pretty well from here. So um, I think we'll have enough overlap that will be good and then I'll look to increase the size of my gasket uh, maybe ever so little um, just to um, give us a little bit more overlap but not uh, take away from the performance of the uh, speaker, hopefully. But the uh, frame, how interesting. Of course, we got the old uh, output transformer off. We'll uh, double test it again and look at the inductance also for uh, documentation. Throw some new leads on and clean this up. It tested good earlier. 
but uh, what I refer to as the uh, yoke itself. This is where the uh, center pole piece resides. And uh, this thing uh, actually just fell off the uh, speaker frame as I was trying to get out the uh, center pole piece here. So uh, what I'll do is uh, drill one additional hole here, clean up these holes, and then these little places here where I had these stubs uh, coming through to mount the uh, yoke back to the frame. I'll uh, file those down and uh, drill four new holes and then uh, I'll probably, uh, since this is really really thick, you can see a good quarter of an inch plus, I'll just tap, get the old tap and die set out and I'll just tap this location, then I don't have to worry about nuts up on top of this side. We'll just fasten directly to this from the uh, inside of the uh, frame. This thing won't go anywhere. I had a heck of a time trying to get the uh, center pole piece out. These things aren't made to come apart and uh, what I ended up having to do was uh, drill a good section of it out here on the, uh, the top but uh, no big deal either for this. This will actually be to my advantage, I believe. I'll do the same thing. I'll drill another hole in here. We'll uh, get the, uh, the tap and die set back out. We'll tap this and then uh, of course put a, a, a nice locking washer mechanism and stuff on it and uh, get this thing aligned properly. And uh, that's the height it's supposed to be. It was uh, flush by uh, the original design. But we'll just make sure that our uh, spacing here is equal. And uh, we'll use some shims when we get to that point and uh, lock this thing down. But um, that's out of ways. We still got to uh, tackle the uh, fuel coil. Uh, just to let you guys know the leads going in this direction here. This is the uh, fuel coil leads and this is the uh, humbucking coil leads. You can see they're solid. So there's probably a solder connection in here somewhere and I'm hopeful once we pop this thing up, that's what we'll do next, we'll find the uh, root cause of the problem. It'll be something uh, simple that we can actually repair, put this back together. If not, we'll uh, make a decision how to go forward. I think I can wedge it open and uh, see how this thing comes apart, see what we can find. Thanks again for watching, folks.